Hey, what's up, guys? It's me, Software Guru. Um, today, I'm just going to show you a little bit about Adobe After Effects, just kind of a beginner's tutorial on how to kind of get started. Um, so here we go. Let's dive right in. Um, you know, first, you want to go into your Applications folder. Uh, for me specifically, that's in the uh, the Finder. Might be different for you, but uh, we'll find it here. It's in the A section because it starts with an A. So open it up. It does kind of the traditional bounce down here. Um, it's kind of fun. So it'll take a little bit to load up. Um, you know, it's kind of a big program because it does a lot. So here we go. Here's our screen. So um, yeah, just ignore the tips. They're kind of useless. Um, you know, Adobe After Effects, it's, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, you know, you have all your different windows and different sections and you know, little tools and shapes and FX and stuff like that. Um, so, you know, you look and I mean, it's pretty much, you know, you know what to do, you know. Um, like I said, it's self-explanatory. So you have all your effects and presets down here. That's where you want to start. So, um, you know, for this one, I'm definitely going to want a little bit of uh, a color, just color correction type thing. So, um, you know, you can look through all your different presets here and um, color balance, that's one of my favorite ones. So we'll load that into the main screen here. There you go. Um, you don't see anything now, but it's there. You just have to remember which ones you put in there. So, okay, so we got a little updater thing bouncing here. We'll just quit that. I don't want to be distracted when I'm making animations. Um, and then we'll go to the animation presets. So we got behaviors, sound effects, shapes. This is where we've got all the nitty gritty interesting stuff. So we'll go to image and, um, you know, we'll check out, um, there's grayscale, mood lighting, you know, amorphous. It's one of my favorite ones. So we'll, we'll drag that in there. That adds a nice effect. Um, you can't see it right now, but you'll be able to in a little bit here. So we've got those two effects that obviously we're going to want more later on, but, um, you know, that's a good place to start. So once we're done with that, we can move over to name. So we'll click on the arrow that says name here. We'll double click sometimes that, okay, yeah. So it opens up the import file box. So we've got a lot of different files here. Um, one that I'm sure a lot of you have, um, just so we can kind of be on the same page, is the import stacks file. Uh, sorry, about stacks file. Because that, uh, you know, stacks is something we all have in common as Mac users. So we'll open that one up. So here we go, it loads into our into our thing here. So if we want, we can also move that into our into our main screen. So that actually shows up. So what this did was it separated each little individual uh, image inside the about stacks PDF file. So what we have here is a collaboration of all our effects that we put in earlier. And it's fun because we can, you know, kind of stretch it out and flip it around like that. So it's cool. It's cool. So if we click on this little color thing, that's our next step. We want to click on the green. Don't click on any of the other ones because it'll screw you up. So click on the green. So now we have this green border going on here. Now don't let that confuse you. That's just kind of an indicator of the green effect that's happening. So then you want to click on where it says full right next to that. See that? Full and change it to half. See that? Change it to half right there. So then we want to go into our background section, and blocks is by far my favorite one. So we'll move that in, blocks, see what we get here, see? So it, uh, it made a nice blocked background. Um, yeah. So it looks pretty cool after you do that. And, oh, sorry, I got distracted. Uh, so, yeah, we go back to our object tab here. And then we'll click where it says 8 BPC. And we've got 35 millimeter. We'll change that to 16 millimeter and then say feet plus frames. That's important. I know it's confusing, but that's what you want to do. So we'll click on that. It affected the, the image a little bit. So now you're saying, Robbie, we've we've affected a PDF file to make it look different with a blocked background. 
but how do I make an animation? So here's where we get into the video stuff. So we'll go to the time controls and see where it says RAM preview options. Keep that the way it is. And then you're going to go to frame rate and you're going to want to say 24 because 24 is the film standard. Skip one, auto third. That is kind of the, the, the norm. You're going to want to say full screen because nobody likes to watch something on half of a screen. Unless you've only got one eye. <laughs> Just kidding. So we'll go to the monocular tab here and we'll say find blocks because remember we put in the block background. That's what we want to find. So we'll say match case. Okay. You have searched to the end of the project. Do you want to continue the search from the beginning? Yes. You always want to say okay when that dialog comes up. Okay. After effects, no items found containing blocks. That's exactly what we wanted. So we found the blocks. It didn't say it found it. That's okay because it's not supposed to be there yet. So then we'll go into audio. And there's no audio yet. So how do we change that? We need to import a song. So what we're going to do is going to say file, import file. Okay. Then we'll search for a song. So I'm going to say I love Creed. So I'm going to type in Creed. Here we go. So we got the Creed songs. Um, Can You Take Me Higher is one of my favorite songs. So we'll, we'll add that in there. So we got the little watch going. This is going to be probably the most... Um, the most, uh, can you take me higher la, 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 to a place where a blind man see? Oh, sorry, I got distracted. So we have higher here. So we'll drag that into the uh, the main screen. Boink. And there we go. So now we have audio. So now we can adjust this to our desired number. Two is my favorite number. So what I'll do is I'll find 2.2 because .2, then there's two twos. And it works out really well. So here we go. Two. Three. It's three. There we go. So now it's 2, 2.4. That's exactly, I mean, you know, it, that's where you kind of choose what you want. It's just a preference thing. I love doing 2 because it's fun. So then we'll add higher in there again. And then it kind of bounces back, that fun little animation there that it has built in. So we'll lock that because we want to keep that in there. So let's see what we have so far. See how that's kind of moving around and yeah. So I mean, in just a few short minutes, we've already got that kind of an animation going, um, you know, with this versatile program. So anyway, that's just a quick getting you started with Adobe After Effects. Um, again, my name is Software Guru. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to PM me, leave a comment. Um, you know, go ahead and put a thumbs up, like for my video. There's more to come for the intermediate users if you need to know more about um, if you need to know more about the beginners tutorial just let me know if there's anything I need to clear up um, anyway hope you guys uh, have fun making animations we will um, we'll see you next time have a great day